Right, we've uh, got a bit of a treat today. It's uh, This is an Audi RS 2.5 TFSI Sportback S-Tronic Quattro. It's a 2017 on the 67 plate. Um, beautiful car finished in Daytona grey and metallic. It has um, black with rock grey stitching fine napper leather with diamond quilting as you can see there and uh, perforation it has the five arm rotor design alloys in gloss anthracite black with diamond cut finish um, absolutely beautiful car I'll just take you for a drive in up to the fuel economy urban 25 extra urban 42.8 and combined is 34 it's 0 to 60 times, 4.1 seconds, top speed of 155 miles per hour, which I assume is electronically limited, and 394.52 um, brake horsepower. And Mr. Spock must have calculated that one. And it's a 20 valve. So we'll just go out for a drive. see how it goes which I might just give it a blip yeah that's nice well I was messing about flipping the accelerator to the uh, the traffic's now built up and I can't get out. Multifunction steering wheel, um, finished in Alcant Alcantara at the sides. Here we go. Now, I believe it has LED headlights. Um, it's always difficult for people like myself when we sell used cars. You can never be an expert in all the makes and models. Had a quick look at the brochure before it came out. Um, it does mention a feature, the LED headlights, which are unbelievably complicated. Supposedly, they use the uh, navigation as well to anticipate corners. Um, there's tiny cameras in them, and they see the oncoming traffic and reduce the intensity of the LEDs so as not to blind the uh, drivers coming at you. I mean, it just <laughs> we've only driven this a few hundred yards. It's absolutely fantastic. Feels like a racing car. Got paddle shift. We've also got the camera rattling, which is very annoying. A fantastic dashboard. call them TFTs now display you've also got your nav display in the center there sorry at the left hand side of your uh, instrument panel you've got nav up here got cruise control a little bit Bluetooth hands free So stupid stop start mode which I'll be switching off as soon as I can right. 
that's just awesome. There was, I wasn't trying to speed then, just uh, setting off normal, but the, the, the pacing. This would be awesome on a track. Thanks for indicating again. On the right hand side of the display there you've got um, two little clocks, power and torque rev counter on the outside, speed in the middle. I can't figure out what's rattling, but it's annoying. central armrest, a little bit of space in there too, got cup holders, not that you'd be interested in that, beautiful carbon fibre insets to the dash and door cards, polished aluminium, polished aluminium RS3 gear stick as well. what there is there to rattle. Ah, got it. Got it. Right, that's better. Seventy miles an hour, two thousand revs. driving it is just, I can't, to be honest, I can't describe it. I've driven all sorts of cars, uh, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Aston Martins. Uh, this just feels like a racing car. It's a good job I'm not using it. I'd lose my license in no time.
panoramic roof as well. Um, it's, uh, I've got to say, I'm kind of lost for words. It's so good. want to keep driving it. Really, really good display. All your information in front of you temperature gauge on the left at the bottom, fuel gauge on the right at the bottom, time, outside temperature, coolant temperature, Got heated seats, begin to tell you how much I hate stop start going around this bend is just take you a slightly different way today found a brochure online so I'll put a link in the description to the brochure because um, I'm just not going to do this car justice today Drive select there, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. So I'm guessing too slow. Yep. We'll just put it in down. Oh dear. <coughs> so that's. Um, Drops the gear and increases the revs straight away. Gives it a sportier performance, which, in all honesty, I don't think it needs. Feels like the steering's changed slightly in the suspension. Maybe imagining it. But uh, I think we'll go back to comfort. Uh, also part of the brochure said that um, you can even use Twitter um, voice activated and uh, not that that will come in very handy I don't think Honestly, lost for words. This car drives so good. <clears throat> you take all the road up, mate, on my side as well. 
Cruise control pull towards you. Fifty miles an hour limit here. seats are really comfortable there's beautiful diamond quilted pattern as well and uh, the RS logo in the, the center switch for this uh, plumbing stop start it's just awful ah there we go that's better right in front of my face <laughs> Might have to do another drive in this, especially when I've uh, found out what half the controls are. Oh, 
on camera. <laughs> that switch there turns the whole dash into uh, your sat nav. give it a little bit of gas I don't want to go mad because it's not done very many miles either uh, yeah so that's that view changes then you've got all the information your rev counter on the left there and uh, speedo on the right Really, I've driven some nice cars, but uh, this is unbelievable. Whoops, going too fast. It's really understated on the outside. Um, wolf in sheep's clothing. What a car! Good heater too, my. Uh, <coughs> it's got a good heater too, my. 360 degree cameras are overheated and switched off. When uh, Top Gear were doing their uh, replacements for the Fat American guy, um, no, one Top Gear is the Grand Tour. When the Grand Tour was um, doing the replacements, Mark Webber came to drive, and Jeremy Clarkson said he looked a bit gormless driving. Well, I, I just caught sight to myself, this car is so good, I was driving along with my mouth open. Uh, overmats as well with the RS logo. Global lock in here. Your uh, electric window switches here. Put 
the roof back because my got my cameras on. And, Just drop the gears there and coming around this bend. Having said that, I couldn't keep up with that Fiesta van. I, I think I'd run out of talent very quickly in this car. So, how do you connect, smartphone, settings, map, navigation, telephone, media, radio. Get a, a little bit of clear road. I'll, I'll just blip it again. But I don't think we will. don't want to go back to the garage really <laughs> I always judge cars by which one I'd like to drive up the Amalfi Coast and uh, my first choice is a Alfa Romeo Duetto which I've already done but I think my second choice would be this Alcantara steering wheels, lovely.
beautiful car. It's not too bumpy at all. You, you can you can feel what you want to feel through the through the steering wheel and the, and the tyres. six to all over here. 